Franklin Code Enforcement Officer Greg Petula gave activity updates Tuesday, April 3rd, and suggested zoning be examined to address small cabins and other similar structures. Code Enforcement Officer. Yes. Are you sure to pick up a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> of course, uh, this early spring or whatever you want to call it, a lot of people didn't come in. Uh, got a few more new houses going up around the area. Uh, running around doing inspections on the ones they were building. Uh, issued a CO to a guy last week. Um, have a little more interest on the guy up on the hill over here on Franklin, Franklin Heights Road. He was in to see me yesterday. Uh, he's looking to do a bigger scale than he originally proposed. Uh, he wants to do at least like 15 or 20 uh, like camp spots up here on his property on the Blueberry Farm. So uh, he was in to see the town planner today, I guess, and uh, we're gonna be putting him on the planning board and moving forward with that with that one. Uh, I haven't seen no activity on the Oak Hill Road job, uh, other than just emails back and forth. Brian Brock's been sending me emails back and forth. Uh, the, um, the assessor's been sending me a bunch of stuff to look at, and I've been running around looking at those projects for him. Uh, stuff he doesn't have permits for, stuff I don't have permits for. Uh, I'm running into a lot of these, uh, I want to say little cabins and tiny houses that are all over the place. There's quite a few. I got an ongoing list, and I've been getting a list together of all the, the Airbnbs, so when they come, when we get the law through, I can send out letters to all them to get, get them all on board. But uh, we're going to have to do something, I think, with our zoning to either do something with like cabins or, or, or stuff in our zoning, or we're going to have to write all these people up for violations. So uh, I don't know how the town feels on that. It's something to think about. Uh, I can talk to the planning board about it, too. Uh, a lot of other towns have a... a like a hunting fishing where people own a piece of property they can put a small like 400 square foot little building that they can stay on the weekends but it can't be lived in permanently it can't be uh can't be year round it's it's only supposed to be occupied 30 consecutive days it gives people a chance to enjoy their property that they may have bought like on the weekends and for hunting and stuff like that but it's not considered a co residence of any sort it would just be like a little hut fishing cabin but we have a lot of them, plus there's a lot of them, I think, are being rented. We have uh, some up on uh, Rich Road. I got this little compound of little tiny houses. You've been up there and seen that at all on your travels? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So I can't find any permits for that in the system. No, no. Uh, I can't find any permits for that in my system. So, uh, and there's a lot of, they're, they're, they're all over the place. So, I mean, I've been documenting them. I've been driving around trying to keep track of them, but. Um, sounds like you have some ideas that would benefit us on that. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 no, it's not to me. It's, I mean, it's just my opinion anyways. I mean, people probably want to come up and enjoy their property. It's very low impact, in my opinion, that they come up and they have a little place to stay at on the weekends. Uh, but, uh, you know, we have like RV rv stuff you know in the in the in the code but nothing for like a little building so uh i really can't issue permits for them for accessory structure because it's essentially like an accessory structure but you're not allowed to have an accessory structure unless you have a house so i have a lot of people that have been coming and asking me questions about adding these little places too so i don't really have a good answer to give them without any zoning to go by are they planning on building Greg? huh are they planning on building there's a lot of people that want to do stuff, yeah. And, and then, it's just, are they looking for, because you can have an accessory structure for up to a year if you're planning on building a house. Yeah, they'll, they'll tell you they're going to build a house. <laughs> yeah, that's their intention. That's their intention, but, I mean, we don't know that. You know what I mean? It's it's hard to keep track of all that, you know. So, I think, I, I think us we'll discuss with planning a little more detail and see if we can come up with something yeah and then we'll move forward from there okay yeah i mean i figured i'd bring it up to the planning board this month and, yeah. and see what kent has if they have anything else in other towns similar because i'm sure this area has become a very uh 
uh, especially since COVID, it's become a very people from you know down the city area stuff have have land up here for hunting and and have a, have a, a property that they want to enjoy. And I don't want to have, just walk in there and listen. You built this little shack in here and and, and start writing tickets out to everybody. I just want to maybe come up with a. It's not just singular to one person. It's it's a. I see it's going to be a. Yeah, I'd say discuss it. And then, yeah. Let's see what the board. They, that's that's kind of a, you know, use them as a resource also, and then with that we can move forward. Okay. All right. Yeah. Anything else? Not really. The the solar stuff. You still working on with Kent a little bit? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've gotten a couple okay. of good examples from Meredith and from Deposit that we're looking at trying to. Okay. To subscribe or advertise, call 607-464-4009.